It's Super, Super Mario Flash 2. 2. The game! Hey players, Fidazza here, and I'm back with some Super Mario Flash 2. Um, I've got a level here, so let's begin. Okay, we're in a grass area it seems. With a mountain of hedges, which doesn't make sense, but I won't question it, maybe it's an evergreen tree. Buried underground. Freeze a fish. Um, it's open for a storyline there, but in case you're not familiar with Mario, um, or Super Mario Flash 2, Freeze a Fish is the default chat box text. Oh, sneaky. I dodged that be like a pixel. I'll get a slow mo in that. Come on, there we go. I get the feeling this is one of the levels where um, shells come in handy. I don't really like this kind of level. It's just like a grassy level, like filled with Koopas. Um, people do this a lot. And they always got like 10 out of 10, you know, but it's not really got a lot of like detail put into it. Um, whereas like other levels where you put like massive caves of like, you know, amazing layering and stuff, you'll get like 8 out of 10. But then these simple levels, which are just, you know, got a few like hills, like with Koopas like thrown around everywhere. Um, it's even got a text box where it says nothing and a Koopa drop kicks you at the start. Um, I'm not hating it or anything, it's still a good level, I just think that these kind of levels get much too much credit. I mean far too much cre credit. It would have been better to level design if you had to um, jump on its head to get across there, but you can make it anyway, so it's not really that thrilling. Oh, okay, so that's not a warp tunnel. I'm just going to remove this so that I don't get drop kicked as soon as I start the level. Um, I hate levels like that in general, like levels where you get killed in the first second. <laughs> Um, it's not that you know they're bad levels, it's just that um, I don't hate the level, sorry, I hate that part of the levels. Um, unless it's like, you know, in, it's the intention of the level uh, where you're constantly in danger. Um, my friends, Fred Saloon actually has a series um, called uh, Easy Mario, which is um, contrary to the name, it is actually incredibly hard. Where uh, you're constantly put in um, impossible situations, well, say impossible, but very difficult to survive situations. Oh, shit. And there's often a trick to it. Um, like, for example, uh, you hit uh, one of these blocks to create a mushroom, and the mushroom will go along a tunnel. And then you have to hit another block from below to bounce the mushroom up a level and then it will fall through like a wee gap and you can get it at the right moment um, so that you grow and survive something after like avoiding a pet. It's almost like a saw trap of, like, of Mario. <laughs> Shit. I bet this level is like 5,000 blocks long and I'm getting to like 300. Give me a break. Well, this is evil, to say the least. Um, I feel more um, secure of this. Oh, yeah, see what I mean? I would have died if I didn't have it. What, what is this? Uh, what's through these spikes? It's almost like a code. If I press up, I'll jump through this and die. Um, I'm going to try and remember this because I think it might be important as uh, one of my friends level showed me before where I had to use a combination to get past it. Um, anyway, 
And down, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. Oh, well, isn't this one hell of a level? <laughs> okay, let's try and get to the end of this level in five minutes. Within five minutes. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm just gonna like, yeah. If it was normal cuppers, this'd be easy, but you have to like watch them dropping on your head slowly, floating around, um, precision time your jumps, and then watch out for like the wee things that kick shells into you as well, um, when you're on guard for. So you have to watch below and above. Oh, I think that's where I died before. I'm going to like go in cautious mode. Okay, I'm going to be really cautious. Okay, so that we guy kills the other ones that are in front of you. So does that guy. So um, if I be patient, I can use the small ones to my advantage. But what? Okay, well that was undodgeable. I'll just rush through it until I get back to the point I was at. Uh, that's one thing I really dislike about um, these levels, there's like no checkpoints. Um, and if there is checkpoints, they usually don't work. I think Happy Wheels, uh, that game with the vehicles and stuff, had a similar problem. Um, well, but, although that game doesn't even have checkpoints, so that's even worse. Um, but these levels can be much longer than... Okay. Two more minutes. I can do this, I know I can do it. I've had training in much, much harder levels than this. I should be able to do this. Oh, damn it. I finally got back there and I just rushed in and died. I keep dying at that bit so presumably it's um, an almost undodgeable area. Okay, well I give up. Let's see the end of this. Whoa. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Um, please comment and rate if you like the video. Um, goodbye.